Hello everyone, Zagraz here, and welcome to part two of the Rizzi and Stoutland versus Darkrai. Uh, as we set up, last or we we take a little while to shuffle because he didn't, especially my opponent, because he didn't want to have eight trainers in one in his opening hand again, because that was kind of redonk, ridiculous. Uh but when we get this going, uh, I do win the coin toss again because we are playing as the normal match. Unless they change that rule to where loser goes first or chooses. But I don't know. I don't think that rule has ever changed or was ever implemented. Kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah, I call heads and it's a four. And he glares at me when I say I'm going to go first, but... I, my deck does that. Uh, I do get a little pup. Ooh, and I get a mulligan. I forgot about that. <laughs> my leaguer, league, uh, leaguer help or asking if about natures and stuff for the VG. Uh, I would love to do some VG stuff, but I don't have a recorder for the 3DS. I uh, thought about maybe trying to set up a camera setting, but I don't know. I've never quite liked those. Doesn't mean I can't give it a try. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, he's taking a while. I forgot how long this one. I, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, our, the guy that's leaving is talking to us, so. Apologies about that. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry. That took a lot longer than I thought it did. Uh, we were having a chat with the guy. But the only thing you missed was he was he gave me another mulligan. So I got I had two mulligans from this thing. Uh, we laid on our prizes. And flip over. I got me started with a little pup, and he had a sable eye. So it's pretty much the battle of the weenies of our decks. All I got, I have energy, and I like one of the few ener fighting energy in this deck. Uh, I forgot how stupid the start of this game was. I was I thought I was in a bad way with this game because I start off with a fire ener fighting energy. And in this deck, there is quite literally, like, three. <laughs> I think I started off with a fighting energy and a uh, plasma energy, which is, that's like five out of, like, 14 or 13 energy, somewhere around there. It's just a count I usually go with. He decides to tap. Uh, I, I Skyler for an Ultra Ball. Because I don't like the idea of facing down Dark Eye with just a Lillipup. Go fig. Uh, I put Trekkings in this deck, and I don't know if I'm going to keep those in. I may just keep make this deck just Stoutland, Vrizian, Rush thing. Because, uh, I don't know. I haven't, ha I haven't used them really. I used them in the game that was that the recording failed in, but I don't know. It kind of worked in that game. Granted, I was be trying to beat up Kiram with a rock ox thing. It's an ox thing. Uh, there, I just roared for the heck of it. No real point in it, but just because. Uh, and here's where I was sad because I have a fighting energy, the Verizian, and he. Verbanks. Hey, but he has to ditch a lot of good stuff for that Juniper. I mean, I think I saw, if I remember right, there was like two dark patches and a few other things. I think I saw a switch. But I was I was kind of happy to see that. He wasn't in the best of situations. He lasers, gets the heads. I was wondering what to, which way to turn it. I don't really know with the whole turning thing. I think it's upside down for sleep. I never really mess with it. I just remember it's sleep. <laughs> you can see my hand. It's it's okay.
my hand could definitely be better, especially the whole energy thing. Uh, and you can see there me forgetting to put in put on my poison counter, which I I remember here in just a little bit. I I might remember it in between turns when I put damage counters on my little pup. Uh, but he just he does the thing dark ride decks do. Doesn't really care about what they ditch because they go, hey, we have a Sableye. Um, <clears throat> which is an obscenely good card. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's me remembering about that. Oh, yeah, he Ultra Balled for a Dark Rye, too. We were playing a bit more spread out this game. I think that was me maybe going for uh, what did he put back in his hand oh no he hasn't junk hunted yet oh I think he ran him receiver yeah he ran him receiver I think got an in I could be wrong about that it's hard to see I think it was an in because I was worried about something because I, I had a plan for next turn and I didn't want it to be ruined. And this turn take, took a while. So I wasn't... It was one of those things. I was like, is it the, still the same turn? And then we realized that, yeah, he junipered this turn. <laughs> um, so that's always a good thing. Because I, I, I got things to do to him next turn. Because even though my hand isn't the best, I still got things... So yeah, he ultra he gets an ultra ball. And what else? This game it wasn't the best because I wasn't able to get an engine going early enough. Oh, and he got a dark patch. I wasn't able to get the engine, the Rizian going very fast, but I do get to hurt him quite a bit. His turn one, he gets a few things. Oh nope, he didn't want the dark. Oh yeah, he kind of bounced back and forth between dark patch and. Max Potion. <laughs> uh, I wasn't able to hurt him as bad, but... Do I wake up? No. Sad face. I got tails. Uh, oh, get another little pup, though. But it's okay. Because I got a Stoutlin now, and all of his supporters are shut off. Which is always a good thing, because I think I guessed this up this turn. It feels like I guessed this up. Floatstone. Oh, nope, I Juniper this turn. Oh yeah, that's right, I Juniper that away. I was kind of iffy about that, but... Oh, okay, I might guess it some next turn, because I see it in my hand. Uh, this game, the Genesect would come in handy if, uh, stupid glare. Nah. Why did the glare have to be there? It's only like the spot just below the pup and the spot just below the Genesect. Those two little areas have glare. The deck, <laughs> the discard pile, and everything else, no glare. Uh, I love, I love recording sometimes. So many... Stupid little things. Oh yeah, I think I had to sit on this for a little bit. Which sucks. But he's not really able to get the, a whole lot of things going. Which is kind of good for me anyway. He, he, he ultra balls again. Gets more guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> I believe he gets the mime. He gets, yep. I believe he does get the Mr. Mime. Because I heard myself say, I want one of those. Which I do tech one in this deck. Yeah, I, I tech one in this deck. Uh, that'll probably stay because Dark Rye, Kiram, they, they hurt this format. <laughs> uh. He junk hunts again. 
I think I just wanted to draw cards. Because I think I drew cards a bit too early. Uh, I don't remember what he gets. Ah, there's a glare right there, too. I saw a tool scrap. Yeah, and I missed the other one. Probably Dark Patch. But I knew that was there, so I guessed it's him. <laughs> Ooh, I got three out of that. Dark Patch, the tool scrap, and, and I think it was the other Dark Patch. But man, that sucks so bad. He has a f he had four cards in hand. I get rid of three of them, and the last one's a freaking uh, <laughs> a freaking supporter. And I'm just sitting out there with the Stoutland going, "Come at me, bro! Come on! Who wants to hug the puppy?" <laughs> and now that I got a grass energy on my Stoutland, he's just looking at my Stoutland going, "This sucks." I mean, this deck, I honestly don't like these kind of decks. Decks like uh, Gotha Tell and stuff. But, it's just, oh, he ripped the tool scrap. <laughs> he top decked that tool scrap like a pro. Uh, I mean, decks like Gotha Tell, Stoutland, it just, I mean, it's stall, it's controlly, but it's a very aggro controlly because... I mean, wild tackle for 90 damage. It two shots any EX out there without, like, Evil Eye or other things like that. Oh, he. Then, then he just decides to go attach. Or he just decided to confuse Raimi in, in lieu of maybe another Gestus or something. But it's not like he would have done much to confuse me because I have the grass energy on him now. And here's where I just decide to. I proceed to just wild tackle the Jesus out of everything. And I think that's a Rizian. And I start beating myself up too a bit. <laughs> There's the first prize taken in this game. He has to send up basically damage fodder and hope to draw something to draw out of it like bicycle or something. Or something. Bicycle is about the only thing you can draw to get out of this. Or maybe the... Uh, uh, or maybe the uh, escape rope to get my stout line out of the way. Because that would work. Oh, that's what I got. No, it wasn't a, another reason. It was a... Uh, uh, Keldeo. And then I just... Dowsing Machine and guess, or just guesses him again just to see what's in his hand. On the off chance of me getting something. Which I missed. And I just proceed to go over his uh, Mr. Mime. And he just played some card. Oh. I think this is where he ultra balls for a. Ultra balls for a. Not ultra balls, but a. Computer searches for a. Bicycle. And I don't think he gets much out of this bicycle. I think he gets like another. Like an ultra ball or. Yeah, I know he gets another Dark Rye out of it somehow. Okay, yeah, he gets an Ultra Ball. <laughs> and Ultra Balls for... He pretty much... Yeah. <laughs> this is probably really frustrating to him because he can't do a dang thing to my Stoutland. It's just... And no matter what he's got, I mean, he got... Oh, he also had the Dark Patch, so... Ultra Ball, Dark Patch. And he's back down to, like, absolutely no hand. So he's back down to top decking. I have a Stoutland... Almost a complete full field. 
and it's just shooting fish in a barrel right now. I don't even know what I'm looking for here. I think I go for a... Yeah, I go for a... Uh, team Plasm... Or Triad. I can't remember the full name of that card for some reason. Um, and then I just get my other Stoutland out. So even if he does get an escape rope now, it's just going to be a uh, beating tape, beating fest because he just escape roped me. I pull out another Stoutland. Uh, and I hurt myself some more. I'm just talking about potential deck ideas for this deck. An anti uh, Verbank City Gym Stadium kind of thing. Just other stadiums I could run with this deck. Or actually, I should say a stadium I could run with this deck. But I don't know. This deck's really tight on space as it is. I think I play another Stoutland. Or not Stoutland. Uh, or I thought about playing another Verzian, but. And there goes another Pokemon that's four prizes down. And all he's got is a Darkrai, one energy on that Darkrai, and no, and like two cards in hand. Yes. Will do. Give me one second. <laughs> We're giving little banter over uh, pretty much giving banter over uh, <laughs> whose deck is more lame in terms of giving people chances to play. Either a st control deck or a deck that just kind of runs everything else over. Uh, <laughs> even if he could have, he could have retreated for free to prolong the game a little bit to try to give himself something, but at the same time, I had a plasma energy in hand. I could have just attached a Genesect and ripped it back out and then killed it. So that was the sixth prize of this game. Uh, I might do a few more games with this. Uh, I know another guy who has a Dark Ride deck that I might try against. I might see if I can get some other decks of the format. Maybe uh, another Genesect Rusian deck. Uh, to uh, test against, but I might do a few more videos with this. But I will be doing another. Uh, I will be doing a deck profile this video of this deck, and probably it'll probably be out by this weekend. So, look forward to that if you're interested. Other than that, thanks for watching.